I started at Kodak and stayed there for 33 years. My first job was when they, at Burnley, they opened a factory there for developing, black and white uh, developing. And uh, I went there to set that up, just as one of the engineers to set it all up, and then uh, back to Waversford and um, general maintenance there. They had a carpenter shop, a metal sheet metal shop, uh, painters, engineering, and plumbers. I was in the engineering. And we used to uh, maintenance that, and uh, we used to the metal metal work as well. We used to have the machinery there to make um, so a lot of the equipment. Well, they got their machines and their coating machines. You had to sort of look after that. Was generally used to have big paper rolls or film rolls. You had to come and they used to dip it in those days into a, under a roller, put the what do we call emulsion, which then it yeah, went over a series of rollers, which you would be about well, a couple of hundred feet long, and it could be about a thousand foot of uh, film or paper just hanging up and down, up and down. And they had to look after all those rollers, all the chains that uh, that they carried on, and make sure they ran straight, which is very important. And instead of having the big one, we, used to have, we made this little coating machine if they want to try a, a new type of emulsion or test out when, so, when they made a set of emulsion, instead of going straight into production, we used to run it on this little coating machine. And then from that to... Uh, time and motion study or industrial engineering. Assembling cameras to work out who does what and you know, for about 20 or 30 girls assembling a camera and each one's got to do a little bit and you have to work out from the start to the end of the camera what they do and sort of match match up how long it takes and get the, an even flow of work. I wanted to stay there a few more years but uh, Oh, it's one of those things everyone sort of, once you got to 55 and that sort of retire you. Know, I don't know why, but it was sort of the policy in those days. Oh, it was a good place to work. They looked after you because, the, like all big companies where you get a group of people, they, as I say, you get the good, the bad and the ugly, so uh, got no regrets.